In this problem, we're going to find the cosecant of 13 pi over 3 by hand. To do this, we'll start by writing it in terms of something more familiar. So cosecant is actually 1 over, and the way I memorize it is, it's the one that starts with the other letter. So it's sine of 13 pi over 3. So now we just need to figure out what the sine of 13 pi over 3 is. Let's do a rough sketch and see if we can figure out some more information. So here's the unit circle. I'm going to switch colors here. And this is 0. This is pi over 2. This is pi. And this is 3 pi over 2. And this is also 2 pi. So let's, let's think of 2 pi as a number over 3. That'll give us an idea of where 13 pi over 3 is. So 2 pi as a number over 3 is 6 pi over 3. Hmm. We're not quite there yet if we go around once. What if we go around twice? That'll give us 4 pi, which as a number over 3 would be, I think, yeah, 12 pi over 3. Oh, look at that. So if we go around twice, we're almost there. So once, twice, now we're at 12 pi over 3. We're trying to get to 13 pi over 3. So that would be right here. Boom. This is the angle 13 pi over 3. And we need to figure out the sine of that angle in order to do this problem. So the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same except possibly for a sine. The reference angle is the positive acute angle made with the x-axis, which is here in blue, and the terminal side of our angle, which is here in blue. So if we draw a positive angle, that is our reference angle. That angle is pi over 3. Because remember, we traveled from 12 pi over 3 to 13 pi over 3 by traveling pi over 3. The sine of pi over 3 is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. Therefore, the sine of 13 pi over 3 is also that, because here sine is positive, because sine is the y-coordinate on the unit circle. So the y-coordinate is positive, so the sine of 13 pi over 3 is also positive. So this is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 over 2. So we have 1 divided by this, that means 1 times the reciprocal. So we end up with this, which is equal to 2 over the square root of 3. In order to rationalize, we'll multiply by 1 in a clever way. Square root of 3 over square root of 3. So this is equal to 2 square root of 3, and then square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. And that would be the final answer. A lot of information in this problem, right? A lot of knowledge. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there. Good luck.